This is the world's deadliest... <clears throat> Hold on, that doesn't sound epic enough. This is the world's deadliest mountain, the Matterhorn. Despite being just half the size of Mount Everest, measuring 4,478 meters, since its first summit in 1865, it has claimed the lives of more than 500 people, almost 200 more than Everest. Each year, more than 3,000 people reach its summit, but at least one of those climbers does not make it back alive. Today, I'm gonna be traveling to Zermatt, Switzerland, in the heart of the Swiss Alps, to see it for myself. But let me tell you, there's no fucking chance in hell I'm climbing that shit. Nope, I just want to snowboard. And not only will I be taking on some of the best slopes in the world, I've brought along a Toblerone bar, whose logo has been the Matterhorn since 1960, in an attempt to locate the exact spot the picture was taken. This is the Matterhorn, world's deadliest mountain. So we're currently in Hamburg, Germany, and to get to Zermatt, you have to take a train because the town doesn't have cars. There's just these like little truck things that drive around. So everybody that enters the town of Zermatt has to come via train. So we'll see you dark and early in the morning. We have a 6 a.m. train ride, which is gonna take all day, so. I've learned in moments like these, don't say anything. We weren't in the greatest mood because we had four hours of sleep and we had to get to the train station super fast, but we eventually made it. What's up? Being old, cute, <laughs> babe. Are you gonna eat that? Yes. Yeah. It was all fun and games until we ran into our first problem. All right, so we just made it to wherever the fuck, but we missed our train because in classic German fashion, our train was late. How are you feeling about I'm that? so over German trains. I don't understand how all of them can be late. Like, how, how does this society function? I thought Germans were on time. Oh, and our next train is also five minutes late. What's going on, Germany? So since we missed our connecting train, it made us miss the rest of our trains for the day. So we had to get on a whole new schedule. We even had to pay 300 more Swiss francs for a train. This guy was just chilling, eating a red pepper. I wish I had no worries, but we waited and waited. I tried to keep the spirits high. Who's mad? Taylor's mad. Who's sad? Taylor's sad. So much time passed, he started eating some bread. There it is. Finally arrived, and we hopped on the train, and we were pretty sad, but I'm not gonna let that get in the way. Cue the magical music. Welcome to Switzerland. That's more like it. Look at that lake and those mountains and these houses. 713, we finally made it. To Zermatt. Two hours late, $300 less. Yeah. After being on the train for more than 12 hours, we were pretty exhausted, so we hopped in a taxi, went to our hotel room, got a quick dinner, and then we hit the sack, getting ready for tomorrow. That's so cool. Oh, it is cold. Whew. It's so cold outside. The air is so like crisp. Proper Swiss breakfast. And look at the fresh bread. Did you make this? Do you make this bread? Um, yourself? No. No. Okay. okay. We enjoyed our bread and meat breakfast and I gotta say America does breakfast the best I'm gonna say it right now don't come for me in the comments uh, but it was a magical moment I was getting ready and then it was interrupted Wait, what are you saying I'm vlogging I'm pooping. I don't care what you're doing how romantic anyways we needed to ask for directions and I don't speak Swiss German so <laughs> no stop <laughs> Not a good idea. Not a good idea. This is so Swiss, it's insane. That's crazy. This is my first time seeing it. We've arrived. The Schloss Hotel. What's that mean? Um, Castle Hotel. Oh, nice. We checked into the hotel. I'll show you guys a full tour later on, but we got our skis and snowboard and hit the slopes. Look at this place, man. It's packed. Sardines. We got the best spot. Yeah, my guys. This is my first time skiing in the Swiss Alps, and I was so excited. Look at the Matterhorn absolute insanity look at these mountains i've never seen anything like it as a kid from ohio this is just a dream that you never think you're gonna achieve but we finally made it we made it to the top look at this it's beautiful <laughs> Look at this. Let's go. Thank you. Look at how fire that looks. Guess in the comments how much this costs. Keep in mind we're in Switzerland. I'll give you five seconds to guess. Five, four, three, 
to $30. I devoured that lunch, all $30 worth. I gotta say it was much better than breakfast, but we finished the day snowboarding down the mountain, got a quick dinner to prepare us for tomorrow. So we're here in Zermatt, enjoying the hotel. Look at the view. When you're on vacation, it's never too early for a little <laughs> Uh, I'm 29 years old, it's not college anymore. That goes down a little bit harder than it used to. After I took my shots, it was time to head up the mountain one more time to get the Toblerone to its final destination. We had to get on like five ski lifts. Oh man, if only I had a Toblerone. We got one left, tough crowd. Amber alert, missing a personality over here, but that's where we came from. It took us like 30 minutes to get up here, but we finally made it. So we made it to the top of the Matterhorn Glacier, the highest viewing platform in the Alps. Holy crap, that's insane. Wild. Oh my gosh. I get vertigo. I'm like, this is insane. So this is a glacier. There's probably woolly mammoths underneath there. Unbelievable. There's Jesus. Shout out him. We're above the clouds. That's the Matterhorn. Doesn't even look big from here. <laughs> We're so small in this world. I can't even see them yet. Look at how little they are. That's 3x zoom on iPhone. Yeah. Thin up here. Oh, sorry, am I in your way? <laughs> Can't believe people climb all the way to the top of that. Yeah, Look how good. steep it is, guys. How do you, where do you take a break? Whoa! <laughs> I slipped. <laughs> all right, enough screwing around. I came here to do one thing, and that's find where the Toblerone picture was taken. This is the perfect spot for the Toblerone. Yep, that's the one right there, guys. We did it. After a long day, we found where the picture was taken, so it was time to head down the mountain and into the amazing five-star spot. Nude zone, adults only. We're going in right now, nude zone only. Obviously, I'm keeping the clothes on for you guys, because... No one wants to see yeah, that. Yeah, no one wants to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome into the spa, the beauty and massage lounge. We have it all to ourselves. Oh, it's so immaculate. Look at this pool. Are you kidding me? A Himalayan sea salt room? <sighs> Taylor's getting ready. We're doing 15 minutes in the Finnish sauna. This is the inside of my soul. Look, black, 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 <laughs> black, just like my Such a vibe in here. Obviously, you're supposed to be naked, but we can't film that. Want to pour some water on the rocks? That's going to make it hot. I Oh. <laughs> All right, I gotta put my camera outside for this because it's super hot in here. It's gonna overheat, but here goes 15 minutes. Finished in the sauna. Now we're heading straight to the ice. <gasps> oh, it's a baby. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. I don't want to do it.